What I have here is a 1967 Mustang Coupe. It is a 390 S code GTA C6 automatic. What is neat about this car is it is a Playboy paint car. It has the correct non-paint in the ID number. It's got a DSO of about five digits. 390 GTA, very rare. The paint on the car is probably about a seven. Very nice body, undercarriage is very nice. I have found no issues with it whatsoever. The motor is all there, it's correct, it runs good. You can see it's got the hood with the blinkers in it. There's the motor, correct air cleaner, air condition. Does not have a belt on it right now, I haven't tried to make it work. Correct valve covers. It's got the S on the intake, maybe you can see it there. The exhaust manifolds, not headers, got the fog lights, got the correct switch on it. It's got the style steel wheels, which are correct for 67. A nice TA tire. Nice deluxe interior on this car. There's the dash, console, seats, back seats, deluxe seat belts. There's the overhead console. Door panels. Let's go to the door tag if we can. There's the door tag if you can read it. 9 inch rear end, 300 gears. Let me see if I can make it run real quick right here. Starts right up. Come back here. Maybe you can hear it running, I don't know. Does not have the correct exhaust tips on it. They are readily available. I have the Marty report for it. A deluxe Marty report. And I also have the Ford. This is supposed to be one of two cars built in 1968, GTA 390 cars. Here is a Ford report from 1999, basically an early Marty report. Here is the Marty report. And what's interesting about this car, it was ordered in 1966 and sold in 1968 in January. So my thinking is probably what happened is this was on loan to Playboy and a Playboy pet in that year may have drove this car. I do not know that for a fact, but that is the story I have been told and I'm passing it on. There's the numbers in the fender wells. All matches up. I have a title in my name. The car is for sale.